Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. My project is utilization of social media by residents and medical students in medical awareness campaigns during the COVID era. My name is uh, Nihal Bashir. I'm a specialist of internal medicine and nephrology. Working as a hakidni care line supervisor is a professor uh, Tamar Ahmed. So um, that was my uh, for my star uh, role map, which was very beautiful in the beginning, but then I had like multiple uh, life strikings. Uh, so at the beginning, I had a good number of medical residents of internal medicine who are working directly and indirectly with uh, CKD patients, uh, chronic kidney disease patients. And uh, I had operative faculty colleagues, uh, like my stakeholders, all and sources all were um, available and in hand. From that, I had to move from uh, one city to another. I changed my hospital. So now I have changed the stakeholders and the resources were modified a little bit. So um, I found uh, difficulty to engage with residents who are in the new hospital. So I changed my population uh, to medical students. Uh, I was faced by resistance from faculty and colleagues, but this resistance is starting to ease up by the time passing. And um, I found it that may, it may be difficult for medical students to handle patients in the clinic and to stick to the original uh, plan, which was like we will do communication skill workshop, pre and post workshop quizzes, and then we establish media, social media accounts and try to attract audience. And then we do a kidney disease campaign for awareness. And then we attract patients in the clinic with a questionnaire to check if this awareness uh, is satisfying for them. Um, I think with these modifications, now I'm using medical students. I'm using two groups of medical students, a junior group and senior group. Most likely the, the senior group are having some base uh, line information about CKD and they had their nephrology um, course. Um, the junior students did not have their nephrology course yet, so I want to see how to check or compare the information awareness about between the two groups, uh, the junior and seniors, and I'm trying to improve their uh, communication skills. My uh, project uh, Gantt chart uh, activity was uh, like um, involved in recruitment, which took longer than expected, started in January till March, then I moved to the new hospital, but now we recruited a good number Number of medical students through April to May. We already uh, we had the plan to establish like a Telegram group, YouTube channel, and Twitter accounts as well, and to write up the curriculum, prepare it for the first workshop, deliver it, and have a pre-workshop quiz, and then a post-workshop uh, assessment quiz. Then analyze the data, write up the product draft, and uh, poster presentation, and then followed by poster submission in January, inshallah. But then, as I told you, like the recruitment took longer than expected. But again, like Telegram group is created by me for communication with medical students and gathering their data. A YouTube channel is already created. I'll start posting short videos uh, about uh, the most common um, CKD signs and symptoms that may be um, worrisome for patients. That was done in June, July. Uh, through August till now, because of travel and um, other logistics, the uh, there was a delay in writing the curriculum and preparing for the first workshop. But uh, I hope that by September, I will be able to deliver the first workshop and uh, to finish the uh, pre-workshop quiz and post-workshop uh, quiz and create the social media different accounts with um, the students, inshallah, so we can carry on with our plan as expected. The lesson learned through this journey, better to ask for help. Uh, so I assigned coordinator for the student group that helps me with gathering their information, contact uh, details and all stuff. You may find other stakeholder resistance, environments may change uh, throughout the journey, but you should swim with the flow. Changes that I made, as I, I earlier explained, populations changed to medical students, divided into two groups, senior and junior. Workshop now most likely will be virtual rather than being face-to-face -face as um, planned before. Quiz will be through Masterclass and Kahoot instead of like paper quiz. Feedback will be by Survey Monkey that was supposed to be as well printed um, survey. And we may sp skip the patient uh, education in the clinic for now. Um, that was a summary of my uh, project and the changes that I am planning to make, inshallah, for the coming uh, few weeks. And I hope that was informative. Thank you very much.